I think it is safe to say that ultra-wide monitors are mostly looked upon for their ability to increase productivity and deliver that great immersive experience. For the past couple of years, I've been an owner of a Dell U3417W ultra-wide monitor that has fulfilled my needs in almost every single way possible. And I say almost because there is a few number of things that might let you down in terms of usability. As Black Friday approaches, I thought it would be the perfect time to help you guys make that final decision. Hi, my name is Andres, and this is where I let you know whether or not ultra-wide curved monitors are worth it for you. Now, let's rewind to the very first day I got my monitor. There are three key elements that day I considered when buying something like this. Productivity, gaming experience, and cost. I've used a lot of different types of monitors throughout the years, but never have I ever owned an ultra wide curve monitor before this one. The wider horizontal range has been great for multitasking, content production, and web development. And to that I say it's been able to cater to my individual needs. In today's day and age, Ultra wide monitors come in many different sizes, with the most popular ones being the 29 inch, the 34 inch, and now the new 49 inch. And while these monitors all range in different sizes, I recommend you stick to the right amount of density in pixels for each size. Now, if you'd like to get the most out of your large display, I recommend installing a Windows management tool like Display Fusion. And for those of you who decide to go with a Dell or Alienware model, make sure to take a look at the display manager application Dell has to offer. I more often than not use these apps when I'm creating content for YouTube and Instagram, live streaming, or simply doing coding assignments. And obviously, as someone that does a lot of video editing, having that sweet infinite scroll-like timeline is probably one of the greatest abilities this monitor provides. And not to forget, being able to edit on Lightroom while watching a tutorial or simply listening to a video form podcast is a big plus. While most of my time is spent doing some web development contracts, as a programmer, I am able to benefit from the window arrangement ability this monitor is able to deliver. Having my source code open on one side and being able to see my life changes on another is an efficient way for me to get work done. And now that I've been mostly doing e-commerce development, I am able to fuse this with Display Fusion in order to adapt to the workflow needed for my Shopify theme development. And for those who are mainly worried about getting the best image quality out of the box, you want to get a screen that uses an IPS panel to make sure your favorite films, games, and editing work looks the part. But in terms of productivity, there are a few downsides. The ability for you to multitask with apps that needs full screen mode is almost not possible. Being able to live stream on a single ultra wide monitor or having the ability to record my screen when programming are factors that poses challenges for this type of work. But enough with the negativity and let's focus on the gaming experience for a bit. While I am no gaming freak myself, the main key factor this monitor provides in terms of gaming is the immersive gaming experience. If you're a gamer with a suitable graphics card, games like Forza, Mass Effect, or The Witcher will absolutely blow your mind. And these monitors tend to become more advantages in games like Warzone, PUBG, or Fortnite. Having that extra wider field of view allows you to spot enemies much quickly and obviously being able to choose a monitor with a higher number of hertz will improve your gaming experience drastically. But to all of this there is a few downsides. With these many pixels you need more power in terms of GPU. And while not all games support the 21 by 9 aspect ratio, it is important to make sure the games you usually play support ultra wide aspect ratios. Even though I haven't properly started live streaming games, I can already tell how difficult it might turn out to run full screen games while interacting with the live chat. It's important to keep in mind that if you plan to live stream often, I think having an extra monitor will help your cause. And the last point to be touched upon is the elephant in the room, price. I am aware that the cost of crew monitors can be significantly higher compared to many other monitors in the market. For starters, if you want higher refresh rates, bigger screen size, and USB-C ports, this tends to come at a cost. 
The ultra wide I currently own is a 34 inch 60 Hz 3440 by 1440p monitor that was bought at a hefty price of $900 Canadian. In addition to that, I needed to take into account that if I ever used this for gaming, I needed to make sure I spent a good amount of money on a GPU. I know there are better solutions out there like getting two 4K gaming monitors with 144 refresh rates for the same price, but being able to get rid of the bezels and dive into this new immersive experience was totally worth the extra dollars. While my model doesn't include a USB-C type port, make sure to check out the new Dell U3419W for you USB-C type port users. With Black Friday coming, I hope this video will allow you to make a better decision based on your needs and can further improve on your research while shopping for ultra wide monitors. With all this being said, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tech videos and if you enjoy gaming, head on to my Twitch page for soon to be livestream content. I will catch you guys on the next one.